Welcome to episode three. And we've got a slight rebrand. We're now calling it Dr. Hat Vlog Insights from a Clinician CEO. In this episode, we're focusing on equality, diversity, and inclusion. As an organization, we are going on a cultural transformation journey. I'm particularly interested in what this will result in, in terms of driving innovation, driving creativity, because diversity of thought, diversity of experience, and being able to truly understand each other is so critical to this. So I had the opportunity to speak to one of our EDI champions, and also to Sylvia from Absolute Diversity, who's running our EDI workshops in the organization. So in terms of the cultural transformation program for the organization, we're just at that exploratory level now where we are creating a collective view as to what we mean when we talk about building diverse organizations that are inclusive with equitable means. So it really is about having that collective view. And I think the most important thing that has come out is really creating that safe space to have those conversations. We know that EDI is actually quite a personal subject. It touches all of us in different ways. And so it's important for us to be able to share. One of the feedback that comes out is probably how organizations are responding to EDI. Is this a tick box exercise or whether or not this is really going to mean something? So Hattie, if you would allow me to ask you this question, you know, you're investing time and resources in EDI. What do you expect from this program for um, Health Innovation Kent Surrey Sussex? Being able to leverage what we can do within this organisation, start to change the narrative and um, do people feel comfortable bringing themselves to work? And yeah, we're an innovation organisation. And I see it, you know, I've been doing my reading that actually you can actually boost creativity and innovation yeah. by up to 50% by being more inclusive, diverse. But I think this is innovative in itself by, mm. by going on this journey, sharing some of the learning, being able to then spread that across the NHS. Yeah, well, I'm really looking forward to continuing on this journey with you and just really applaud you for really putting your money where your mouth is, so to speak, and taking this seriously. So thank you. Matt, and you're one of our EDI champions. Tell me what does that mean to you? Well, I was inspired when the EMG talked about it at one of our away days in the sense of we all have a role to play in this. We're on a journey. I know that can be a bit of a buzzword, but I think with this, we really are that, you know, none of us are starting from 10 out of 10 and none of us are starting from 1 out of 10. We're all at different stages, but also we've all got different experiences. So it's about how we can almost create an open door policy and understand how some people's working experiences may be completely different to mine, but it doesn't mean they're wrong or I'm right. It's about how we can create a good environment where we can have open conversations with one another. Ultimately, then that's going to make it a better environment for everyone. So what has it involved so far? We're trying to understand uh, people's experiences. We've held two EDI safe space meetings, we call them. The intention is to run them every month. So our next one will be uh, in August due to uh, annual leave commitments through July. But um, what we've done is we've asked what are um, Health Innovation KSS doing well? Uh, what, what could we maybe improve on? And we've almost got sort of a bit of an action plan created. So we're going to get the outputs from the training today, the outputs from the first two sessions, and then ho hopefully present a sort of uh, a project on a page at the August meeting to say, we've listened, we, we want to improve, we are going to, you know, it's great to talk about this, but let's do. So we're going to present that in the August meeting, feed through the um, Organisational Development Working Group and then ultimately EMG um, to sort of start driving that change from sort of September onwards. Being completely open-minded and understanding that people are different is going to be such a good starting place for us in acting this change. And we're just really excited, I can speak for all the other EDI champions, I'm sure they won't mind, um, to get this sort of action plan developed and actually start impacting this change because, yeah, it feels really positive at the minute. I hope you enjoyed those conversations. The reality is this is incredibly important for us, not just in the NHS, not just in the, the roles that we do in health and care, but also in society more widely. I hope you found it useful. There's some incredible resources out there. The NHS itself has published an equality, diversity and inclusion improvement plan, which I'd recommend checking out and we will post a link uh, through the, in the video description. Thank you for joining us. Open to, to feedback and thank you to the team for the hard work in putting this episode together.